Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming today. We uh, just, uh, uh, today is the Wan Yin Dharma Assembly celebrating uh, living the home life uh, event. So thank you again for coming and participating in this assembly for all of you. Um, it's nice to see all of you, it's quite a few of you. So uh, I'm glad to be back here and see you again because we've been away for about uh, almost a month and uh, we went to Korea uh, and uh, here uh, taking this opportunity, let me kind of brief you on what we did the last month or so. Okay, uh, primarily two major events, uh, the Wan Yin Chi at Jewel Mountain uh, Temple, uh, uh, our Jewel Mountain Temple, and a three-day Chan Chi in, um, uh, at, uh, at uh, a guest uh, temple. Uh, okay, uh, I believe uh, uh, that this is the um, what is this? Uh, Korean lunch. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see, you notice um, uh, typically uh, in the U.S. or in a Chinese temple, they usually cook about three meals or so. Three dishes. Sorry, three dishes maximum. Mm. Uh, but our temples here, we normally have ten. Uh, Seems like everyone wants to cook a dish for everyone to share. So, but in Korea, typically, they have a lot of small dishes. And so we all put a lot of work into it. And uh, on the right-hand side there, you see these proud, uh, uh, I think they're Chinese. Uh, these uh, Chinese uh, guests who joined us, uh, who came uh, to uh, Korea, from, uh, from China to participate in the Wan Yin Chi, uh, okay, uh, at least for a few days. Uh, and uh, see, Wan Yin Chi is done immediately. How fast? <laughs> uh, what is this uh, photo? I don't, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't uh, uh, do everything they do. I didn't do everything they did. They did. Uh, so anyone knows what this is? No one knows? I don't know what this is, where it's at. Some kind of park. Uh, Koreans love walking, love going back to nature. Korea is, uh, most of them, at least half of the population uh, live uh, in uh, the Seoul area. Uh, so they live in these tall high rises they are everywhere and uh, so uh, they really value the um, the uh, um, the nature so they like the walking a lot uh, even the on the apartment complexes they would have spent a lot of money landscaping uh, they you know they spend a lot of money doing the landscaping Okay, and so they love this, this uh, nature thing, and the Koreans walk a lot. And, uh, and this is, uh, I believe, uh, Sinan Sunim's uh, daddy, okay? And he's uh, testing me. Uh, he came, and he came to, to, to join us, and uh, uh, we're shaking hands here. He says, uh, 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 squeeze my hand. See how strong your 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 handshake is. And his his uh, hands are very strong. He says uh, his entire life, his family, mm -hmm. they are like farmers and so forth, and that kind of background. So the hands uh, have very strong grip. Uh, and I say, oh please, take it easy on me. <laughs> and this is uh, our uh, uh, Japanese, no Chinese visitors. Uh, uh, yeah, they uh, came there uh, to the Wan Yin Chi to participate in Wan Yin Chi, so they took a photo. And uh, here is uh, one uh, visitor from San Jose, uh, Ivy here, otherwise the rest is from, uh, 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 from China. And 
the during your one yin chi, um, uh, there's a lot of uh, participants, uh, and uh, uh, they were we were full actually because it fell on a holiday in Korea, uh, and and therefore a lot of people signed up. A lot of people had time to come and join us. And then also it happened to coincide with a, a national holiday in China as well. So that's why the Chinese who come as well. Now for the Chinese come to Korea, they need to go through, they need to apply for a visa. So it's uh, not as simple for them. Mm. Unlike us, uh, we go everywhere without practically with, without any visa anywhere in most parts of the world. So anyway, so a lot of uh, people join us. Actually, it's full. Uh, uh, for a temple, a uh, Buddha hall about the size of, uh, uh, I'd say, 60% of this uh, Buddha hall here, not counting the parlor. So it's kind of small. Uh, so around, on average, about 70 people uh, were around. Uh, and uh, at least when I was speaking Dharma uh, during the day, uh, this is what they, they, they did. Uh, mm. Mm. And, uh, mm. and uh, uh, okay, and uh, uh, oh, Master, Master XC here. Uh, he uh, he probably heard of it before. Uh, Master Xi wasn't feeling well when he was here, and uh, at about a few months ago, he had a hard time stepping into a step, a stair step, in San Jose. It was that difficult for him, and uh, um, but he he uh, he held on to his commitment. Oh, to go to Korea for a year, so he went there anyway. So, uh, so we, so I had to start fixing up, fixing up his body. So it got better and better. And we got uh, some help with acupuncture and and uh, so forth. And so he was well enough to travel to Korea. Then he went to, when he got to Korea, all of a sudden he his health improved drastically as well like a new man. So he, he was a lot more energized, and he looked normal. Actually, he, he said he was a lot healthier in Korea than uh, when he was uh, back here in the States. Hmm. So that's, that's him right there. And he's very vigorous. And of course, he didn't miss a single session in the Wan Yin Chi. Um, we have um, also on the right side there, uh, we have uh, some uh, uh, Guest uh, Sunims uh, uh, and uh, they they join us uh, and uh, it's a lot of familiar faces for me. I see these faces before and they um, it's kind of ritual. Uh, every time we go to Korea, they would join us in the cheese. Uh, the Koreans are very hard cultivators. Uh, they they love to cultivate. Uh, in fact, uh, in fact. Um, they, the, 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 uh, uh, the, quite often, they would say, they walk into our temple and they could tell that the chi and the, uh, the chi and the energy uh, is much, much higher, much stronger than most temples. They're very, very sensitive, okay? Mm. And that's always been uh, my goal. My goal is to build your uh, samadhi power, both the lay people and left home people, uh, because that's the core of our spiritual path. Uh, you can talk all you want, but ultimately you need to build up your concentration to help unfold your inherent wisdom. Okay, Samadhi is a key to uh, opening your wisdom. And in order to build samadhi, you need to have the foundation of goodness, okay, of morality, and we're doing good. So it has worked very well for us, and uh, so that's what happened. And people can tell the difference. 
Uh, even kids can tell the difference, let alone adults. So they really uh, like uh, coming to our temples like you here. And but in particular, Koreans love, uh, they're very energy sensitive, and they love to cultivate. Mm, the ones who come, out, who come to our temple, at least, love to cultivate. They are not afraid of the, uh, uh, the, how demanding we are of them. Mm. And so, you see, a lot of people uh, uh, would, uh, would join us, and they, um, uh, and they uh, uh, during uh, the, the most, uh, the most people would usually show up during the Dharma talks, okay, because uh, even at night, when, uh, when they're done with work, they would drive to the temple and listen to the Dharma, okay. And so, they're very vigorous cultivators. Uh, and um, and uh, so, well, I see it as uh, a trend uh, for us. Yeah. This is what we are about. Uh, I insist on, on, um, on um, the emphasis has always been to build your samadhi. And you start first by planting your blessings. Without blessing, you will not be able to accrue uh, samadhi, uh, build up your samadhi at all. So keep accruing blessings, and you never have, have enough blessings. Okay, uh, and so, mm, and so uh, we we uh, for the last uh, uh, seventeen years, uh, going on year eighteen now, uh, that we've been uh, we've been training you, putting a lot more emphasis on training, and now we get to the point where uh, all of you. Our, your level of Kung Fu is so impressive. I'm very pleased. So uh, kudos to all of you. Hmm? Good job. Hmm. Hmm. All right. And so we are um, going on to the next phase now. We are into the phase where actually we are becoming more recognized uh, as a group, as a community of cultivators. For example, we publish uh, some more sutras in Korea. They came and proposed to take my old sutras explanations uh, that we have and would publish them in Korean, translate them to Korean, then publish them. And this uh, uh, past week, uh, the past uh, trip here, uh, we found out we are on the uh, list of the top five, one of the uh, sutra explanation, the bequeathed teaching sutra that I explained about. Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I explained something like almost two decades ago, <laughs> like old, old technology, okay? so old. Okay? And even the sutra that we transcribed actually was from, uh, not from the tape, okay? but was from the, the, the slides, the PowerPoint slides I used. So a lot was lost, because when I sp speak Dharma, I don't remember why I speak, as soon as I'm done. So if you, the slides are just uh, maybe half of it, at maximum half of what I, I would say during the lectures, but even with that, and we transcribe it into the bequeathed uh, teaching sutra, and then we translate into Korean, and we uh, made the top five uh, list. Okay, and we got eight hundred dollars for prize money. <laughs> Whoa, it was so nice. <laughs> Something finally. <laughs> uh, Sutra's uh, publication is a money losing business for me. <laughs> I've always lost business. I don't know why I'm, I keep on doing these uh, silly things. Uh, uh, even when in the early days when there's no money at all, <laughs> I still print the sutras. Uh, anyway, so we got 800 total, eight whole hundred dollars. <laughs> we should spend in half an hour. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Um, and so we. we uh, 
This is what we do. Our community, the community of cultivators, so we welcome you. It's important for us uh, to cultivate uh, regularly every day and work hard. And then on the weekends or on uh, during events like this, uh, we love to welcome you to join us in your cultivation because we know how busy you are. So it's so wonderful that you can spare the time. Uh, so this is a trend. Uh, I see it as uh, a way of uh, Dharma propagation for us. Uh, I'm now finding myself uh, having less and less time to join the ceremonies. I only have time to speak Dharma because it uh, takes a lot of uh, uh, time to prepare. And as well, I have to do a lot of work besides um, uh, besides uh, doing ceremonies, joining ceremonies. Uh, and actually, to be honest with you, uh, I'm so busy. Uh, as we get more and more people come and more and more people ask for help, we, I, it takes a lot out of me to do my daily work every single day. It uh, doesn't look like I'm doing anything. I'm not making excuses, uh, but actually I'm busy every single day. Okay, it's no break for me at all. Uh, and so uh, I find myself having less and less time to do ceremonies. For example, during one in Chi in Korea, I don't think I've been made to a, to a single session during a recitation at all. The only time I have, I believe, which is uh, for the lectures and the great transferences. Uh, uh, most of the time is to, to do my work and talk to, to people, doing counseling and so forth. And so it's very, very busy. However, this is what I do. Uh, uh, we, we have a lot of talented uh, sanghans now, and lay people as well, helping us. And therefore, uh, we are able to divide out the workload so that we can do more uh, together as a team. Mm. And some point in time in the future, we're not quite there yet. Uh, we will uh, have more, I, I made the announcement already internally, we have more of our sanghans going around to various way places to do ceremonies, okay, uh, to help me as well, okay. I don't, I don't have time to do it anymore. And your kung fu is so high now that uh, I feel confident and feel pleased and satisfied that uh, your Kung Fu is so high, there's no competition, there's no one close to it. So that's why I don't need to be there anymore. It's an overkill. Uh, and for you are so overwhelming that when lay people come, people are, or other people come to the temple, they can tell the difference between our temples and all the others. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the temples where I came from, my Master Shinoa's temple, they don't have such, they don't have, the Chinese don't have such um, emphasis on the Samadhi development. So they only focus on the uh, ceremony itself. It just focus on the chanting. Uh, and yes, they're good. Like today here, the chanting uh, is uh, kind of sucks. But um, the, for the first time, I see that we, our the rhythm is very good, okay? That the beat is, is right on from um, the first moment to the end. Uh, they could maintain the beat, all three of them were able to do that. Mm. But the chanting still needs to be a lot better. Uh, for example, I almost fell asleep standing there because it's too low for me, okay? Uh, you don't understand the way no's job is to energize the assembly. You should meditate two hours for big events like this. Dharma assemblies, you should meditate two hours before you do the ceremony. And uh, you have to be much better than this. It's too boring. Uh, during, for example, to be specific, during today's uh, chanting of the Puman Pin, Universal Door chapter, only two small sections are correct. Okay, the one that uh, after the uh, east and west bowing, 
up and down, that the pitch is okay, uh, and then the 12 vowels pitch are, is okay, but the rest of the pitch is too low for the men's side. And it's, uh, it's too low for us. So uh, it actually, when the pitch is too low, it actually made it very uncomfortable for us on the men's side. Of course, it's very comfortable for Sangwook Sunim because uh, she's um, uh, short, I guess, and uh, she wants to conserve energy. Okay? Uh, this woman here is uh, so at peace. You look at her. She's in samadhi constantly, which is very, very nice, okay? But that's wrong when you are doing a Ueno. Ueno is supposed to energize the assembly. You're not supposed to uh, make us fall asleep, okay? Uh, and I hope that in the future we have a director or someone in charge of, um, of uh, ceremonies where they will enforce the standards of ceremonies, okay? I'm very lax right now because my focus is to train your and develop your samadhi and, uh, and teach you. Uh, but eventually, if you want to help me do Dharma propagation, you we want to belong to that team, you know, the people who go around and do ceremonies while I can uh, uh, do my Dharma speaking and my uh, work, uh, then you have to be better than this. All right? It will be your standards. Uh, kitchen. Usually a dozen people in the kitchen at, uh, during the chi, the wan yin chi. Uh, the Koreans are very, very efficient. They seem to be very well trained. Uh, even with 12 people, uh, they go into the kitchen, they immediately zoom in on what they're supposed to do. Uh, well coordinated. Okay? No fighting, no Budding hats, like here, at Wei Mountain Temple. Uh, uh, and so, uh, kitchen is rather harmonious on the surface. Mm. Mm. But I'm told there are three or four groups uh, who uh, follow three or four leaders <laughs> who would have it their way. Okay, Chinese were very well treated by the Koreans. They have their own tables there, treated like VIPs, uh, 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 given uh, good Korean food. Uh, I love the Korean kimchi. Okay, uh, and um, and then they uh, this is uh, they asked to uh, have tea with me, and uh, during which. We share tea and uh, ask questions uh, from the Chinese. Uh, uh, and this is the we pose at the end of the Wan Yin Chi. Uh, all these happy looking people. Mm. Look at Master Old uh, Abbot. Look at how happy he looks. Mm? Mm. Okay. And, and then we were invited to go to another temple. Uh, uh, near uh, in the in the center of Seoul, uh, the the one of the most desirable, the central part of Seoul itself, and this temple here heard of us because um, uh, the abbot uh, who is uh, uh, has his own TV show, like one or two hours uh, every single week, I'm told, and he's uh, advocating Chan and Pure Land parallel practice. So when he heard of us, he, re he saw a lot of my videos and saw some of the uh, books and so forth, and he liked it. So he invited us over and, uh, to speak Dharma to the assembly. This is uh, during the weekday, uh, so they uh, didn't expect a lot of people. So we, um, they taped it for two hours, uh, and they, they would broadcast it later on his TV show, okay? uh, Korean TV. Uh, the Korean uh, Buddhism is very strong over there. They have like a few TV stations and radio stations and so forth. And so a lot of people uh, watch TV and listen to the radio. Mm. And, uh, uh, and so, as usual, we have uh, my groupies who follow me everywhere. Uh, and uh, they, it's half of the uh, listeners there. And uh, 
uh, and um, we uh, our sanghas uh, came over and to the left there on uh, the picture that's the uh, one of his uh, 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 left home disciples uh, he has about five or six uh, disciples he has like two temples and this is one of the smaller temples he has a bigger one somewhere else and and so the sunims actually typically the monks and nuns are impressed with how many sanghans we have okay uh, now officially we having uh, the majority of our sanghans uh, is korean this is this is a sunim right here uh, that uh, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's giving me something. Uh, I think. Mm. Mm. Okay, having tea with him mm. and lunch right there, uh, and and then we went to a uh, a uh, sightseeing to this temple here. Uh, the 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 that um, uh, this uh, big tourist attraction. Uh, uh, this is Maitreya Buddha right there in the back. Uh, it used to be made up of uh, concrete and uh, the president, Korean pres uh, president of Korea uh, said uh, cement will not last so he uh, did this thing with metal and gilded it. It's gilded so it's golden. This is real gold right there. It's so Korean. In the U.S., the gold will be gone overnight. <laughs> Never mind about gold. We have a tin staff out there in front of Wei Mountain Temple. It's gone immediately. Some sort of Hispanic guy drove into like 2.30 2 in the morning, a.m. He, he uh, rode a bike, and then he climbed and, uh, on top of the statue, grabbed the staff, and and uh, biked out. Okay, same thing happened in the gold forest as well. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, a lot of, uh, like 50 people, uh, uh, 50 of our people signed up and we stayed overnight there uh, because it's a, a long drive. This is right after the Wan Yin Chi. So um, our people came uh, and uh, enjoyed the, uh, the stop. Uh, and this is uh, the temple stay in Korea. They have a temple stay program where uh, I think like for $60, you can have a place to stay and then you have three meals. Mm. Okay. And they give us a break. Uh, like instead of 65, we pay like 45. So we are always suckers for good deals. You know, Americans. <laughs> uh, and then, um, uh, this is uh, at that temple there. What's that name of the temple? Anyone remembers? Bapchusa. Okay. Uh, it's uh, a well-known uh, temple. Lots. It's huge. And so many visitors. Uh, and the, the visitors who had to park very far away and walk to the temple. Okay. This is typical of Korea. Korea, big temples. Unlike here, you park right there and two steps, you're inside the temple building already. And this is America, uh, US of A. Okay, so they stay there and they have tea and they say they walked around nature there. Uh, it's a huge national park uh, with mountains. And this is a temple itself. Is this the temple where they're at, right? Or oh, a different temple. Same temple, Bapchusa. Okay? Mm. And uh, the uh, usual suspects there. Uh, mm. We have a tour of uh, uh, a government official who actually, uh, they have uh, uh, tours for people. So we, uh, f they gave us a tour and they talked a lot and they explained a lot of these uh, um, uh, national treasures things that they have. Uh, see how many people showed up. Hmm? 
So uh, it's uh, interesting. Uh, so we work hard over there. We play it hard as well. Okay. Uh, unlike the Chinese, where they only cultivate. They don't have fun. You know, very, very Chinese. For us, we work a little bit. And we have a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, one of the interesting things about this temple is that they carved this Buddha image into granite. This is this is uh, this is a, a stone. Okay, and um, it's a natural treasure for them. And this is another natural treasure. They have uh, this uh, stupa that's about, it's the only uh, wood structure left uh, of, this, uh, of this style, of uh, this size, okay? And they call it where they, inside there, there are uh, drawings of the eight manifestations of the Buddha Becoming, coming to our world, number one is to um, come down from Tushita heaven. Number two, stay in the mother's womb for nine months. Uh, number three, coming out and walking seven steps, nine steps, okay, and so forth. Uh, so there are eight manifestations that every Buddha um, uh, shows when they appear in the world. So they have those eight drawings there. It's a, it's, a, it's a real, real beautiful structure. Such a rare, rare thing. Hmm. And this, this is another national treasure. Uh, uh, this is very, very old and um, made of uh, the, the two things there. You'd never guess. I believe they are lions. Am I correct? The lions. And they look like seals to me, but they're actually lions. Hmm. Okay, now, uh, and then we moved on to the three uh, day chi, one uh, three day uh, chan chi. At, uh, this is uh, Gamgang Sunim's uh, uh, temple. Okay, so it's in the, uh, it's about, um, 17 acres worth of land. Uh, for comparison purposes, uh, is Wei Mountain Temple is on less than half an acre. So that temple is about uh, almost 20 times the size of, in terms of land of uh, our temple. Okay, uh, You see how poor we are and humble we are. Yeah, <laughs> both poor and humble. <laughs> so we're so honored to be invited over to do Wan Yin Chi. Uh, and this is, uh, he's actually uh, one of the uh, star sunims in the Joge order. Uh, so for, for, it's an honor for us to be invited over. Actually, he actually, the, the event was on the uh, Buddhist uh, TV news. Uh, so he talked and said, oh, I invited Master Yung Hua over to do Wan Yin Qi and so forth. And look and see how, how uh, happy I, I am to have that kind of attention. And then this is a Chan Hall. Mm. And so they uh, did a lot of, uh, they were doing, they accelerated the remodeling so that they can they can be ready for our three-day Chan Chi there. And uh, during the Chan Chi here, we spoke the Dharma. Uh, and this is a Chan Ho right there. Uh, uh, and uh, at some point in time, quite a few people showed up uh, uh, because of his name. Gum Gang Sunin. Gum Gang means Vajra in Korean. And so he's, he's very famous. It's quite a big shot, uh, like kind of a star in, in the Joge order. So uh, I would say uh, maximum about 70 people showed up during the Dharma talks, instructional talks. And 
um, about uh, half of which, as usual, are is, is our people, and the other half is uh, his people. Um, and that's uh, the Chan Ho right there. Chan Ho is about, I don't know, Chan Ho is about uh, uh, half of this Buddha Hall, I'd say. Hmm? 60%, something like that. Hmm? Hmm. So, so it's a nice because we're able to walk around. When we are meditating, we were walking around. And this is a very old uh, statue of, uh, what is it, Amitabha Buddha? Amitabha Buddha. Hmm? That the wife of the Samsung owner gave to Gum Sinim. She says, this is a very old, very rare. Uh, this is a treasure in Korea. So he gave it to him. I said, she didn't give you any money, just a statue? <laughs> anyway, I'm so American. Is this it? How much is it worth? <laughs> anyway, uh, how much can I sell it for? <laughs> well, anyway, so, so this, this is, uh, so he built it right in the middle of the parking lot. So when you drive up, you see the statue right there welcoming you. Okay. It really is very old statue, very rare indeed. Okay, and this is the complex right there. Uh, he's, um, it's nice because uh, it makes me feel uh, ashamed of ourselves, how poor we are. The Koreans, they have the proper things. They have the, you know, they have uh, the good, uh, the lots of land and the proper landscaping for the temples where people could walk around. Uh, Chan Ho right there, uh, and uh, this is our people. Uh, you see how happy uh, the old abbot is. Look at that. Uh, uh, and this nun here, I believe, is joining us. Uh, it seems like every single time I go to Korea, uh, one new Sangan joins us. So that's why eventually down the road, uh, uh, we will have a team of people who can uh, go around to the various places in the world to do ceremonies and do Dharma propagation. Okay? It's not, it won't be just me alone. Your doing ceremony is so good because your samadhi power is really unique. Uh, and therefore, you need to pay attention more to your... Uh, skills in conducting ceremonies. That's very important. And these are the quarters. Uh, and so the, you see in the background here, this is Chan Hall, this is the Buddha Hall. Okay, so you see it's a Chan temple. Uh, and uh, typically the Buddha Hall, they don't have great assembly um, dharmas like in the Chinese, like us here. So typically they don't have, the buildings are very small in Korea, okay? Typically the Buddha halls uh, is the one structure by itself and small, tend, tend to be small, I cannot hold that many people. And here, because they stress cultivation, so they build a bigger Chan Ho where the monks, uh, can get together and practice Chan for like three months uh, on end, 90 days, okay? Uh, and this is our, the, the, uh, their, uh, um, where they live. Uh, and it gets cold uh, after the sun sets. Uh, it gets foggy as well. Uh, and um, so this is, uh, I don't know why they're so happy. Mm. That's not a good image. <laughs> We're supposed to be like Sangguk Suni Muslim. Half asleep. <laughs> but they're too happy. I mean, young people, what can we do? When they get older, like Sangwuk Sinim, then they calm down. 
okay? And uh, um, this is a TV crew. They, they recorded uh, the, uh, the uh, instructional talk as well. Mm. And they interviewed uh, Xiao Qing and her mom because they heard they're from China. So they, they were on TV as well. So they flew from Shanghai, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, to uh, Seoul to get on Korean TV. So they are like celebrities now. <laughs> mm, this is the dining area. Uh, and they're nice. It's nice because they're not used to having that many people. So we brought a lot of people to the temple. Yeah. And, and so the, uh, the, the crew of uh, the kitchen crew, it's like uh, several of them uh, cooked a lot for us, providing three meals a day. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot of work. Uh, and uh, so all these are, uh, I think, I don't know if she's with us already, but she says oh, she's coming. Uh, she's uh, uh, introduced us by Boo's here. Yeah, it's uh, Boo's aunt, Dharma aunt. So it's a generation above her. Uh, uh, it's uh, the younger sister of her master, her mistress. Mistress or master? Master. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, and so she came to us, and after a few days, she said, ah, this is what I like to, uh, to do. Well, get training. And this is Gumgang Sunim here who telling the old abbots, uh, it's okay, you can fall asleep. Mm. Mm. And I don't know, it's sort of like, they're too happy. I mean, it's like we're doing Chan, they're happy. It, it, it's, uh, it's not, it's unreal. Mm. They're just too happy. I don't know why the people are so happy. This is him, Gamgang Sunim here. Uh, the, the star oh, in a Jogi order. And him right here, uh, okay? And I think this is when I'm leaving, we are leaving. Uh, and what are we doing here? Uh, we're eating, I guess. We're always eating. And look, look, uh, look how many sanghans are there, okay? And there's more and more coming because it's so difficult to get a visa here in the U.S. Yeah. And so um, we hope to be able to bring him to Korea to train. Mm. Mm. And then, and then mm, they can come and join us in the propagation. Uh, I'm, I'm, this is at the airport. We're leaving. Okay, again, they look so happy. They're not even crying. It's weird now. The first, the first few years I came when I was leaving, people actually were crying. Now they say, oh, I'm so glad he's leaving. <laughs> okay. Uh, so some of them took time off just to come um, to, to say goodbye. Um, these people here. Uh, uh. Hey, I'm still one of the tallest. <laughs> And that's it, I guess. Any questions? Comments? Huh? No questions? Uh, it's a very good trip. This is actually, um, actually uh, one of the better trips because uh, personally, I'm primarily interested in training people, lay people and left home people in Korea. They, uh, they emphasize training left home people. They don't train lay people. They don't train women in particular. And we don't care. We train women, child, men, uh, even pale faces or uh, uh, yellow faces. We can't care less. And and so and that's why uh, a lot of uh, Korean nuns uh, are interested 
because their uh, sanghans are hungry and thirsty for some training. Okay, uh, and so you see uh, uh, these um, these uh, sunims are are uh, are are uh, buying into it, and and therefore. Uh, Just a minute. Uh, okay. Now this makes me happy. <laughs> now I'm, I'm laughing and smiling. Come uh, samnida. I mean, thank you. Oh, come on, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dao, huh? Ching dao, huh? Ling dao, huh? Oh, don't you say. Oh gosh, she says her back is hurting now, so she needs, uh, says uh, walking is painful for her. Mm. Mm. Yeah, people are getting old. Huh? Uh, better hurry. Wow, interesting. Uh, and, um, and so the, uh, the uh, nuns are very happy that they are, can receive training, and lay people are very happy that they are making progress. So we're going to have more and more people joining us, and finally are buying into it. First, when you first came, they look at us as some kind of cult, where the Buddha hall has no statues, no images whatsoever, only a cheap thing on the wall, and that's all we could afford. Instead, Instead, we spend uh, spend our money on uh, equipment. <laughs> Once we spend that kind of money on the equipment, there uh, we have no money left for anything else. Uh, and so, um, so, uh, but now it's catching on. So uh, pretty soon, I will start speaking Dharma to you in Korean because. <laughs> <laughs> because so many Koreans are joining us, okay? Uh, so half our Sangha is Korean now, Korean Sunims now, hmm? Korean people now, and there's more and more are joining us. Uh, and so, uh, so uh, we, are, we are becoming uh, established, basically, uh, I'm, I'm proud to tell you we are American Mahayana. We are really quite different from Master Srinivas Dharma, okay? Uh, in terms of ceremony, uh, samadhi power, in terms, uh, you know, like even you lay people, uh, your level of samadhi is higher than uh, their uh, monks. So, so, and people often remind me of how much easier it is for them to concentrate at our ceremonies and, and, and uh, enter samadhi and feel more blissful from our samadhis. This is the core uh, of the Buddhist practice. Okay, so we're doing that. So boys and girls, I'd like you to move on to the next step meaning improve your ceremony skills. Okay, before I ignored it, now uh, I, will be, uh, I will be more demanding and expect you to uh, do better at ceremonies. Okay? Mm. So that we work as a team. Mm. That you can pitch in, so during the Dharma assembly, you can speak Dharma and can talk to people, but you also have to improve uh, in your ceremonies. Okay, uh, any other questions? Oh. Okay. Uh. And also, uh, during this trip here, we made a lot of, uh, 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 we, we made inroads into Korean Buddhism. Mm. We becoming more recognized, more established, and for, for, therefore it's no surprise to me that we were attacked here at Wei Mountain Temple. We lost 
a monk. Okay, because he went berserk, uh, and so uh, the the problem has been brewing since the first day. Uh, it has been it's really a miracle was able to keep him and help him for so long, but the fundamental issue is not is still not resolved, and um, and uh, and so uh, we lost one, we immediately. Uh, lost a monk, but gained a senior nun, uh, and then, and then uh, uh, we, ex uh, and then one more is coming in December, and one more Chinese is coming hopefully next month. Uh, we'll be leaving home life. It's a it's a visa issue now. We need to figure out how to get uh, visas for our people in Korea to bring people to Korea. Okay, uh, so it has a recombination in Korea and the U.S. and so forth. And I said, in the future, I commit to go to Europe as well. So you see, it will be a team of people going all around uh, to do Dharma propagation. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, we work as a team now. I'm no longer the only person who's uh, doing Dharma propagation. You know that we have online classes like every day of the week, am I correct? Huh? People actually join us. Uh, and like uh, Venerable Xian Liao is doing very good in ceremonies, okay? Her ceremonies, ceremony is one of the best. Uh, and uh, um, Master XZ, the young abbot, uh, his, uh, his uh, mantra sessions are like, uh, are like uh, 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 creating a lot of waves because every single one tells me that tune in or join his uh, mentor sessions and you can feel the power of his concentration, the power of the mantras. Okay, so the team is becoming stronger and stronger. So uh, raise your standards. I want you to be, keep on improving more and more and more. This is what we are about. We never uh, remain at the same place. Vietnamese yam jing tai chỗ, meaning that you stand in one place, you walk in place. That's nonsense to me. Okay? Life is too short. You have to keep on improving. Hmm? Doesn't matter how old you are. Uh, you improve, you beat back, you slow down your death, okay? your sicknesses. Uh, so, so, um, Keep up the good work, and I expect more and more uh, sanghans to join us because I need to train all of you. I'm really uh, one of my major, major project, my major tasks is to train you uh, so that the next generation, a third generation of Mahayana or American Mahayana, mm -hmm. will have um, many talented and strong people who are of service to society, who are pillars of society. Whether you are a lay person or a left home person, you will excel in your own sphere of influence. Okay? That's what this is about. It's not about me, it's about you. About you getting better and better and better. All right? Thank you all. Mm. See you next time. <laughs>